One of the shortest yet cutest love stories of all time is Harry Styles and Taylor Swift. Do you remember the kind of romance that was purring between these two kittens? But what's the point? It all ended in bad blood. Do you know why these two broke up? Who broke it off? Was Taylor's sudden and obvious attachment to Harry a reason for their breakup? Was Harry not committed enough in the relationship? Let's find out. It's the truth. Taylor is very much a real thing, or at least it's in the works. And in these pictures, we see the musical pair all smiles, enjoying each other's company in Central Park, making a stop at the zoo to mingle with friends. Dating rumors of Harry and Taylor started coming in early 2012. And a few months later, it all became quite legit when we saw pictures of Taylor and Harry getting all cozy in New York Central Park. Those pictures were a way of both of these cuties telling us that hashtag Haler was real. Well, we aren't exaggerating here. Harry held Taylor's hand and walked through Central Park, and it's not just that it was a casual hand-holding thing. It's like both of them were so love-struck that it seemed like they were actually shot by Cupid. Another cute thing that happened in late 2012, Harry Styles was interviewed by Seventeen magazine, and upon being asked about Taylor, he said, Taylor is a really lovely girl. Honestly, she couldn't be a sweeter person. She's a great girl, and she's extremely talented. Some people you meet, and they are not as nice as you make them out to be, but she's one of those people who's really just amazing. Oh, Harry was really in love. Him gushing over Taylor was really cute, and we were so in love with Haler, but maybe him being too vocal about their love was the reason why they broke up, right? Remember, they started dating right after Taylor had broken up with Connor Kennedy. And not to spill too much, but Taylor was really attached to Connor. So much so that she had bought a $5 million house in Cape Cod just to be closer with Connor. Dude, that's actual commitment. But according to an insider, Connor liked Taylor, don't get me wrong, but this business of her buying a house on the Cape made him nervous. It seemed as if she was getting a little too attached, spending five million bucks on a house just to be near the guy. Duh, Connor, that means she loved you. Anyway, the breakup seemingly happened due to Taylor being too attached, so naturally she wasn't making the same mistake with Harry. But Harry was all lovey-dovey. Don't believe us? Well, check this out. Harry was so involved that he even went to see Taylor during her X Factor rehearsals, and we know about this because Mario Lopez gave us all all the details on their radio show right after the rehearsals. And here's what she had to say. Taylor Swift was the special guest performer and a little inside scoop for you. During rehearsals, Harry from One Direction came and slapped me on the back and said, hey Mario, how you doing? And I said, what are you doing here? And he sort of pointed toward Taylor. Oh, what a boyfriend, seriously. But it was like Harry was putting in a lot of effort and Taylor wasn't reciprocating enough. Yeah, we aren't making this up. Harry himself confirmed that it wasn't all mature and it was really hard for him. He said in a Rolling Stone interview, when I see photos from that day in Central Park, I think relationships are hard at any age. Adding in that you don't really understand exactly how it works when you're 18, trying to navigate all that stuff didn't make it easier, he said. Adding that he just wanted it to be a normal date. But it seems like Harry was done chasing Taylor and was losing interest. Here's something we dug up for you. An insider source spoke to Taylor for Glamour magazine and regarded the whole relationship as a chase by Harry. And it broke off when he found someone else to chase after. He spilled the beans and said he wore her down. The source says of Styles, who allegedly chased Swift for a year. It was all like, you're amazing. I want to be with you. I want to do this. The relationship fell apart after he texted Swift to alert her of a picture on the internet of him kissing a friend goodbye. They were making out, like with their hands all up in each other's hair, says the source. After Swift ended the relationship, he pursued her for the better part of a year until she finally took him back. But the whole time, she says she feels like he's looking at every girl. The source continues. And then when they were in London together, he disappears one night. And after that, it was like he just didn't want to keep going. God, that must have hurt. Seriously, the fact that Harry was all in in the relationship has been pointed out by so many sources. And everything that Harry did for Taylor makes it simple and clear that he was really in love with her. But we guess Taylor wasn't ready for all that love. Finally, in 2013, the love fell off. Harry and Taylor apparently broke up over a heated argument that they had during their Virgin Islands vacation. An insider source told Men's XP, Taylor is so concerned that the public will think she's a whore because she dates around, that she doesn't put out. What she doesn't get is that guys keep dumping her because she's being a prude. Harry found Taylor a little sexually uninterested. While it was clear that she obviously had a thing for Harry, Taylor didn't want to put out as often as he would have liked. Harry is a young boy with ladies throwing themselves at him and has a string of relationships with older women. Women. Maybe Taylor wasn't sexually mature enough for Harry, who is known for dating older women. There were also rumors of Harry having a wildly romantic love life. He was apparently spending every night with three to four women. That's too much for anyone. No wonder why they broke up. Because if any of this was actually true, a breakup and a really bad one at that was inevitable. 
Besides, here's what Taylor thought about her fragile relationship with Harry. According to her, anxiety was the top feeling she felt during her relationship with Harry, and she always wondered whether it would last or not. While being interviewed about her song, Out of the Woods, which was released after their breakup and was apparently a song that Taylor wrote about Harry, Here's what she said. The number one feeling I felt in the whole relationship was anxiety, because it felt very fragile, it felt very tentative, and it always felt like, okay, what's the next roadblock? What's the next thing that's gonna deter this? How long do we have before this turns into just an awful mess and we break up? Is it a month? Is it three days? And so, you know, I think a lot of relationships can be very solid. And that's kind of what you hope for, for it to be solid and healthy. But that's not always what you get. And it doesn't mean that it's not special and extraordinary just to have a relationship that's fragile and somehow meaningful in that fragility. Seems like there's too much water under the bridge, but we really can't seem to figure out that if so much was wrong and it all ended on such a bad note, how could both of them get cozy in the recent Grammy Awards? Yeah, really, it was way too cozy. It looks like a lot went wrong with their relationship, but we still can't believe that Harry was once so involved and then he apparently cheated on Taylor. Could he really have cheated on Taylor? Was Taylor's lack of interest in the relationship the actual cause of their breakup? Or is Taylor's interest in older men the reason why Harry wasn't interested in continuing the relationship further. Well, stay tuned for more such shocking revelations about your favorite celebs. Don't forget to let us know in the comments section what you think was the real reason why these lovebirds broke up.